Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm in my office today. So, no, I'm just kidding. That's just the green screen. Uh, so, anyways, right now I want to talk to you about Rise of the Ronin and how to basically make money faster and get silver coins faster. So, basically, you want to go over here on the map. So, we're going to zoom out so you know where it is. So, it's Noge. Noga. That's going to be your map destination. And you want to go all the way here where you have this veiled edge banner and you're close to this Nagayama Fudo Temple. So there's going to be four spawns of enemies, two of which will drop pretty decent loot. And the other two is just trash mob where you could just stealth kill. So right now, again, we're all the way over here. So basically, we're, you're most likely going to be starting around here. And all you have to do is just come all the way up here. I was able to do this while I was like level, I don't know, 16. So it's not going to be too difficult as long as you approach it through stealth. So I'm going to teach you that strategy. So once you're at this banner over here, another thing you want to do is go to your systems and go to your game settings over here and go all the way down to either. If you want more materials, you're going to do auto disassemble or auto sell for if you were to get money. So let's go with excellent right now. So basically what that means is that it's going to sell everything that is below excellent value. What excellent value mean is basically you're going to have your greens and blues are going to get salvaged or sold while your yellows are just going to be kept. And because in this game, you're going to have a lot of yellows and or a lot of loot. So you want to kind of just limit those loots by just salvaging or selling it based on whatever you need. So I like that option because now my inventory is always not cluttered and I'm only keeping the orange and I get to see the better stats available to me. And also if you want a particular green or blue that you do not want to salvage or be sold, you can always lock it by pressing the face button, the, which is your middle button and you can lock the item and it will not be sold or salvaged. So you see this right here it's unlocked. If they have a little treasure on the top right, it's going to be locked. So that means it won't be sold or salvaged if you're going to do the auto sell and salvage stuff. Okay, so once we got that out of the way, let's just go and do this very quickly. So we're going to go all the way here. So right now, uh, you're going to look at the bottom right when I'm going to sell everything. So there's two people right here. What you want to do is just climb up to this roof, glide down, and then assassinate this guy. Then just run up to him. Your assassination button is still going to be there and he'll be taken to half health. And then just auto attack him until he breaks. And there you go. And you just pick up the item. And you see, I just got three loot from him. I was able to get a couple of rares or the yellow items. It's, it's very rare to do that, but you can get it occasionally. But right now what we're after is just money, silver, silver and tokens, currency. So right here, you just want to snipe this guy off. It's just a one hit KO with the headshot and then go climb up here. And what you're going to do is glide down and this is a one hit KO assassination. If you don't one hit KO this guy, as you see, there's good. I'm going to get a yellow right there already. See, it's very easy right here. So if you don't get that ass single assassination on that second guy, he's going to take a while to kill because he has a shield up. So you have to like kind of parry and do all that stuff. But that's going to increase your time when it comes to grinding. So then once you kill all four, you come over here and then you touch the banner and those four will respawn again. So why don't we do a little uh, time test for this? So look at my bottom right and it will show you how much silver and how much uh, gold I'm going to get. So wait, wait, let's go to my inventory very quickly. All right. So right now, bottom right, I have a 79 for silver and I have 90,969 uh, tokens. So I touch this. I got 3,500 from it. And oh, okay, 79. So I got like 3,000. You're mainly going to get around 1,500. I think I sold some other stuff that I was in previous game but you get around 1500 silver plus two so uh i mean 1500 tokens and two silvers so you're gonna get the silvers per kill you're not gonna get it from the resetting the banner so let's try that again so we have 79 silver right now right uh wait first let's do a time test i'm gonna go over you guys will know the time 
during the YouTube video, but I want to be more precise. So I'm going to make a timer here. So I'm going to start right now to start. All right, as we're starting, we're going to do the same thing. So it's probably not even going to take more than two minutes to do this. I'm up here, glide down, assassinate, run up to this guy and assassinate, take his half health then start attacking. Run back down about 30 seconds that one, and then we just run into here. You can use whatever weapon you want if you're wondering what you got, but uh, the game might be a little bit different if you want to maximize the loot drop. So, there we go, snipe him, come up here, go jump, glide down, and done. That's one minute, so one minute per time. So just remember to just loot the guy that you shot and then come back up here and then run towards the banner again. So it's about a minute for 1500 silver. So right now, uh, 1500 tokens. I keep forgetting the. So we got 81 right now. So we started with 79. Now we got 81. So we get two silvers per kill and we go back to this banner and rinse and repeat. So look at my bottom right. I got 1500 tokens from that. So there you go. Two silvers, 1,500 tokens per minute. And again, you saw that I received a armor at first. It was this one right here. So yeah, you're going to get a good amount of loot as well doing this. Just in case if you want to grind out a little bit, you probably wouldn't need to grind out as much as you do with other games. But because this is a loot based game, I'm here to show you that you can do uh, a little bit of grinding in order for you to kind of progress your level or progress your loot. Uh, so what am I wearing is the fortune favorite armor set. So basically it's this thing right here. It's going to give me a hundred luck plus another hundred luck if I wear three sets. So that's what I did. And additional item drops from enemies, 9%. And that's basically those three things you want to have on all of your armor, but Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any additional item drops from uh, the armor because I tried to use a, what is it, one of those balls to help to, to like get another armor, go into this armor. Uh, but yeah, I haven't found one yet. Um, but as you can see, this one's fortune favorite. I haven't found a exquisite or a rare for this one. And then for my boots as well, fortune favorite. So I have three equipped and all you need is three. And then the other ones you can have a another or whatever you want so as long as you have something like this and you're good to go now uh what you want are these charms as well i got these charms from sending my dogs out to grab it so you want to look for them with high luck value so i have a plus 66 here luck what is luck increased luck stats improving the likelihood of valuable item drops that's basically what it is so i have three of them equipped which is above like 60s and that's how I am able to grind out. So yeah, guys. And so for the other armor, like for this helmet here, I got the just uh, you could use whatever you want, but I have more additional drops from uh, enemies and money sacks. Well, we don't have really any money sacks that we're grabbing, but additional drops from enemies is definitely good. And yeah, that's about it. If I don't know if I'm missing anything, if I'm missing anything, I'll probably just update through the comment section. But yeah, so that's basically it. You can farm your karma and experience through doing this as well. I've gotten a few skill points just by doing this run, but mainly you're just doing it for silver and tokens. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think. It's about a minute uh, for 1500 silver, uh, 1500 tokens and two silver so yeah take it as you will i haven't seen any reviews done for grinding in this game yet so here it is and hopefully this does well share it with your friends who are playing ronin and uh please credit this video as i want to get more viewers let's go give me that subscribe button and i'll pretty much uh, see you guys in the next video bye i'm an awkward guy <laughs>